West Desert today. I'm gonna go check out Dugway. Beautiful day once again. first and there's still snow on the Deseret Mountains. Unbelievable. It's like 93 degrees outside right now. Unbelievable. Last I heard there's still water covering the salt flats right now, which is amazing as well. Alright, just got off the highway. We're about 30 miles west of Salt Lake. We're gonna be driving down the old historic Mormon Trail and then headed over towards Dugway. This is the small town of Grantsville. Passing through the center of Grantsville, we're almost to Main Street. It's a sleepy little town out here in the West Desert. Alright, Grantsville Main Street. Doing some construction, of course. It's that time of year. Looks like their high school over there. Turn left up here, headed towards the Mormon Trail. Just about to leave Grantsville. Alright, well that was Grantsville. It actually is a growing community. Those are all newer homes out there, still under construction. Headed south on the Mormon Trail, headed towards Highway 199. Not a whole lot of people on this road. Gorgeous out here. Davenport Canyon up there. Still can't believe there's still snow on those mountains. to Rush Valley, passed through this town a couple months ago, I think it was in March. Highway 199 is right up here. Looks like we have an ambulance coming. I pulled over for that ambulance, not sure where he was headed. But uh, this is Rush Valley. If you remember my video, few months ago that was covered in snow we're about to be going up there in a second Clover Springs campground gonna go check that out for a second highway 36 is just right there and highway 199 is just right here I have a feeling there's some sort of fire or something up there because another fire truck just passed me we're on highway 199 Headed up towards Clover Springs and Dugway. Might remember this road from 
my past video when I did the West Desert over down in Vernon. Climbing up the summit here, still a little bit of snow at the top of the mountain. This winter was brutal. Love coming out here in the summer. Still climbing the hill. Clover Springs Campground is just below us down there. Covered in snow last time I was out here. This mountain range gets a lot of snow. Almost to the summit. Alright, we made it up to the summit. If you remember last time I was out here, the weather station, this was all just covered in snow. Gonna head down towards Skull Valley now. And then hit Highway 196. So if you remember last time, I was out here. I said that Dugway is like a private military installation that you can only get into if you have military clearance. This weather station, or whatever you want to call it, has three cameras on it. Most of the weather stations in Utah only have one for UDOT. That one's a 360 degree camera. That one looks like a traffic one. That's another one looking down at the road. Pretty interesting. So we're only about 20 miles from Dugway. Going to go as close as we can. Then we're just going to head back to Salt Lake. Another gorgeous day. Not sure if you can see that snow-capped mountain way out there. That's past Wendover, Nevada. That's a good 120 miles out there. Coming down into Skull Valley in the Dugway area. There's the road out to Dugway. We're now in Skull Valley, headed towards Dugway. Gonna be taking a right turn to go back to Salt Lake here in a few miles. Can't go any further south than here because it's all military range. some tractors out there. Love coming out here this time of year. Alright, coming into the military town of Dugway. And of course the church is on the outside of the border. <laughs> not gonna go into Dugway. That's the gate right there. You have to have military clearance to go in. So this is the end of 199 and that's the 196 right there headed back up towards Salt Lake. That's the southern end of Skull Valley. about 95 degrees right now. Beautiful day. Headed north on the 196. Some beautiful mountains on this side. These right here are the last big mountains until you hit Nevada. Just a couple hills and then you hit the salt flats to the west. That right there is the Waste Management Salt Lake Landfill. Other than that, not a whole lot out here. We're about to hit a ghost town that I've visited in the past. It's the old, when the pioneers came out, they formed a little town out here. 
called Isopa. However you say it. That right there is called Lone Rock. Wonder where they got that name. <laughs> I-80 is just right there. That's a salt mill right there because we're right next to the salt flats. Some pretty mountains out here. This whole area is pretty underrated with its beauty. Just like that, we're back on I-80. Salt Lake is only 40 miles away, just right there. And we're going to be passing the exit that got off about an hour ago. Quick little loop to the West Desert. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll probably just end it here. Thanks for watching. More videos coming soon.